Snitzel. I'm not trying to play right now. I am recording a video. Where there's nowhere for you to go. There's nowhere for you to go. You're either chilling or you're going somewhere else. All right. So, since, uh, hey, Snitzel, how you doing? Yeah, that's right. This is my sketchbook. And that is my foot. Thanks. Well, yeah, you can see my crusty feet for the first time in high def definition. And you can also see my dog, Snitzel, who's just kind of like, what is this? What is this uh, concept of paper? Never seen it before. Get your wet nose out of my... Anyways, since it's very difficult to actually make the Fruits of Labor video that has some context and all that stuff put into it, I thought I'd just at least do something that's comparable to it and something that I can actually upload. Did you just step on my... This is a sketchbook journey of just basically the sketchbook that I bring into work. And ever since then, I just been kind of drawing in it. Um, so what we have here is essentially the date that I started this sketchbook. And whenever I've uploaded this video as of now is, well, you know, how long I've had it. Ugh, this whole thing is just messed up. It's been in, it's been in my backpack, my work backpack ever since, and my work is pretty crazy. So, yeah, sorry about the dog. Um, but you can see that I have all my characters here. They actually had the date of when they were created. So as you can see, two thousand and six, Ferrantu, and then everybody else has their own date. But yeah, uh, it is messed up. But either way, I have a bunch of art here. This is at the very beginning. So everything is just going to be so, you know, uh, maybe I might go in depth on that. Snitzel. I'm not trying to play right now. He used to bite extremely hard, but ever since then, I kind of taught him how to play right. So he understands that he should like, calm it down. It's like, I'm not hurting you, so you shouldn't hurt me. I'm messing around. All right, Sissel, stay, stay, stay. No. Stay. Like, he's still sniffing it. He's like, please, stay. No. So, yeah, a lot of church stuff. This is my sketchbook, by the way, like, just since 2022. Oh, am I going to have to censor that? I mean, it's for artistic intentions. You can't see the full thing. But, like, just, yeah, like, you know, like, this is, like, why I'm able to draw. No, stay. This is why I'm able to draw at such a high frequency and create so many different, uh, you know, projects over a short a matter of time. This is the first one where it's just, I'm literally still holding on to it. Yeah, here's some more interesting art pieces. This is one of Violin, this character that I've created. Um, I mean, like, I always have an ideal female character that I always draw. I like the female body, it's amazing. And yeah, so, I mean, if you want to learn some interesting deep dive stuff, like when I draw a female body, I no longer am like attracted to it. Like, you know, cause you know, I like, I like the female body and I like girls, but it's like when you draw it, it's a different story because it just like, it's an extension of you. And it's like, if you create something, you don't have that real intention to like <laughs> go absolutely nuts over it. Now, you know. The real girls, like girls at work or school, you know, I don't know about school, but you know, just girls in general, like they can, you know, yeah. They. Dachshunds are known to be stubborn. You can see that he is, but if you don't do anything, he'll start to catch the drift. Like if I push him, he'll think I'm playing. Here, have fun with this. You gonna, eh? Eh? Like, he's like, I thought you were going to play with me. Just go. Like, he said no. Yes, go go after it. Let me record. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, stay there. Stay there, mother trucker. Look at him. He's like, please. He's like, you tricked me. <laughs> yeah, I did. So go figure it out. Either way, so 
Here we have a bunch of the eye designs for my characters, my main three characters, uh, Rontu, Madison, and Maurice. Or sometimes, I don't know if you've noticed, but Maurice actually doesn't call him Rontu. He calls him Marie because Marie is his actual name and Rontu is like his kind of like name that he basically created for himself, but he wants to be called Rontu kind of deal. And this is even the case in the comic. I don't want to get too much into the lore. But you can see that Rontu's is just wide-eyed recruit. And then Madison's is more delicate and more elegant. And Maurice's is actually the most elegant. He's kind of like... It's a thing where it's like... Uh, if you're familiar with the cartoon The Ghost and Molly McGee, that's why he has this sort of eye design. But this is something that's more recently created. Seriously, bro? You really just trying to get your neck in the way? Your neck meat? Where There's nowhere for you to go! Let me see her. Yeah, here's some pretty nice drawings of her. But, uh, yeah. Uh, she's got this eyebrow thing going. Trust me, it's not inspired by him. Like, these got here before he got here. Um, these eyebrows are semi-inspired by Steven Universe to some extent. But it's also inspired from a girl from Canon. Where she kind of had just giant freaking eyebrows and I thought it was kind of like cute in the most masculine way I can say it possible yeah I don't know it was just funny and are you serious right now you gotta eat right in front of the video I gotta keep recording or else this thing is just gonna die also if you wanted to see her like semi embarrassed there she is okay my shadow's getting in the way yeah, she's getting like embarrassed and stuff. I don't know. Expressing my characters through their emotions through art is just very, I guess, cathart cathartic. But you see, there's a lot of like drawings where it's like not always finished. Like it's literally me throwing freaking darts at the wall, practicing my aim. Uh, oh yeah, here's a character that's just, I guess, based off of Link in a sense. And then here's this guy who is supposed to be Goth. That's it's not supposed to be his actual body. Yeah, like, designs are just changing all the time. There's, like, literally a character that, I don't know, it's like, you get a certain vibe of just drawing a character in a certain way. And this is what came out. And then we have a weird... Bubbles? I have no clue. I'm checking, I'm checking. Okay. Hey, here's a drawing of Rontu just absolutely losing his crap. Which is an awesome art piece. So you see a lot of just me drawing it, like, a lot of my videos, like, it just comes from me just, like, you know, drawing just anything. <laughs> and especially Madison with a top hat and a freaking eye thing, and, hey, look, there's Kenny. Now, yeah, here's, here's this. Okay, this may count as nudity, but for the most part, come on, guys, let's just be rational adults. Uh, Rontu and his evil incarnation. And also, too, here's Madison. Cool, right? So, yeah. So, either way, this is her back in 2008. They actually had a more simplistic design. And this is something I'm always talking about. And I'm always conveying this information. And this is, like, the 100th time that I've introduced this mythos of my characters. I'm surprised that I'm not talking about Ron, too. But I drew Madison instead. But either way, you can see that she had no nose, no ears. And it was the same thing for this design as well. And her pigtails were actually more puffed up. And now she has this design. And the eyes are more inspired by Zelda. Um, yeah. <sighs> What's this? I think this is a whole diet regimen. Um, work. What does it take? The top shelf. Workout. Comic page. Videos. Website, clean room. <laughs> Here we have a Sonic. I know you guys are gonna love this. Here, let me just, that's my thumbnail. Yeah, imagine the possibilities are endless. Okay, anyways, yeah, here's more Rontu. And it, as it goes further into the sketchbook, everything is more up to date. So here we have Rontu looking cool. And someone would say that he looks like um, Mega Man or what's that other character? Uh, what's Johnny Quasar? No, what's uh, Astro Boy stuff? More stuff. 
What is this, like his anti-hero? Lantu and, I don't know, Slade? Yes, that's all, and you're kind of bored just staying in the same place. I'm gonna need you to back up, son. <sighs> just a little. Here we go, we have Haigochi. Yeah, I know, who is Haigochi? She's my first anime character. So you get to see what she looked like back in the day. This is what I know how to draw. And yeah, she does look like, um, uh, what do you call it? Kanata from Lucky Star. Because she was specifically designed after her. This was a design that has her with a jacket, idealizes her with a jacket. It was an orange jacket. Kind of conflicts with Ron too when I try to draw her with, you know, my main three characters. And so, you know, I gave her a different kind of outfit or she's supposed to be a cowgirl. And then you have this, where she has like, just literally better kind of like features, I guess you could say, like it's less simplified. And um, yeah, I mean, the way that I idealize Haiguchi is just being a free spirit. Like she's pretty, but she's like a strong character. Like she's goofy, she's not sexy, but she's goofy and that's kind of how I idealize her as a goofy girl character that knows how to kick butt you know that's literally how I idealize that but I go in and out of drawing her because again it just depends on what I'm obsessing over like a, a core idea in my mind you know yeah just more of the stuff um... Yeah, there's like, there's just so much in here, bro. There's just so much. More mellowed out. You know? She's like a mom now. Or she's just tired. You can see the, you can see the bags under her eyes. Yeah, she's just tired, bro. She's just like, dude, I got taxes. What in the world is this? Yeah. Like, I mean, literally, yeah, that's like her alternate design, I guess you can call it where she's just a mom and she's no longer be able to like adventure like she was in the old days here's violin talking to her and saying some crap i don't know like what in the world i don't even know if i'm able to swear you know yeah. i'll try to not just to keep myself as pg rated as possible um just yeah more of and then we keep going and there's blankness there's nothing that's the answer to life. I hope you, I hope you're excited about that. That the future is blank, and I don't do outro. So get out of here.